Welcome to ETAP. This video will provide a quick tour to get you started with the ETAP ArcFlash module. Before we run an ArcFlash, we need to make sure that the data has been collected and entered in order to run a short circuit calculation and determine the clearing time. Once this is done, we can set up the data required to run an ArcFlash. In the bus editor, ETAP has typical gap and X factors built into the rating page. You can take advantage of these quick typical values to perform a quick arc flash calculation. Select the type of equipment that is represented by the bus. This can be enclosed equipment such as MCC switchgear or open air equipment. Update the data within the editor or select data options to change the arc flash analysis data or shock risk assessment data. We can also run an ArcFlash study based on global parameters. In this page, you can globally define the equipment's gap, gaps between conductors, working distance, and other parameters to be used by the global ArcFlash calculation. This will save you a lot of time since you would only be required to define the type of equipment represented by each bus. To view the data used, you can click on the Edit button and view the data that is utilized within these tables. And before running an arc flash, define the arc flash and bolted fault calculation methods to be used. The fault clearing time is automatically determined from the TCC curves within each PD. You can also select user defined for what if scenarios. Next, identify the buses you want to fault from the study case editor or graphically from the one line diagram and select to run an arc flash. An arc flash is, is analyzed on all faulted buses. Or drop a sequence of operation for arc flash and calculate the incident energy for the specific location while graphically identifying the protective device that de-energizes that location. Run multiple cases using different configurations, different revisions, and store the combination in the scenario wizard. And before finalizing all your cases, review all the options available in the tools option preferences editor. A few, consider, a few important options to consider are to turn on Calculate load PD load side arc flash, calculate load terminal arc flash, or subtraction of incident energy for multiple source systems. Then use the arc flash result analyzer to view any result from all your studies or quickly compare all the studies to determine worst case incident energy or minimum incident energy in a single view. Other filters can be used here to pull up different results, as well as selecting equipment and printing labels, or analyzing a sequence of operation for all the equipment selected and identify the protective device that de-energizes the fault for each location. And for your deliverables, you can export all the results from the ArcFlash Result Analyzer to Excel and create labels for your equipment. Thank you for watching this video on how to get started with ETAP ArcFlash. We look forward to working with you.